friends Hi. and theme park fanatics. We are here for the first weekend of Mardi Gras at Universal Studios. So we are going to go ahead and try everything and we're going to show you our favorite foods here at Mardi Gras and what we think you should try. Thank you for joining us here guys as we eat our way through Mardi Gras. We want to start off with a little tutorial about the lanyards and the food and beverage card. Now, if you have a lanyard from last year with credits on it, you still can use it this year, which is great. Because, Brittany, you had, what, nine left? <laughs> and I had five left. Yeah. So we've been using this up first. And a little pro tip. Use the entitlements that you have on the more expensive stuff because they count as items, not as dollars. Right. So the stuff you want to try that's like $11, $12, use that because you're having to pay dollars on your um, food and beverage card. Which brings us to the food and beverage card. Now with this, there is a $65 card and if you get that one you actually get 10 bonus dollars so you'll have $75 worth on that card and they also have a $120 card you can get and if you get that one you get 30 bonus dollars so you'll have a total of $150 math is fun and there go all the pigeons Dang, what was so that? Many <laughs> so many pigeons. I've been traumatized. <laughs> Velveeta shells and cheese, so yes. No, this puts Velveeta shells and cheese to shame, okay? Try your, uh... Oh, this is really good. <laughs> Ooh, this is thick. That biscuit thick? Is that relish on there, or slaw? Uh, apple cider slaw. Oh. So I'm like, kind of, you know we love apple cider vinegar. Oh God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is some good fried chicken. I was a little weary because red eye gravy is what you put on here, but it works. And the pickles, it's perfect. Love it. This is some of the best food I've had in Mardi Gras. So this is located across from the wonderful ride that is Fast and the Furious. <laughs> the best it's ride in the, the park. The best ride in the park. It's a wide one. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, in a food truck. And I would say get here early because we tried to get this like later in the day and the line was ridiculous. Yeah. And now we know why it's ridiculous. Now we know why it's ridiculous. <laughs> so this is definitely a try it. Definitely Get a try it. it. Get it? Oh, 
Tengok tu ya And what Mardi Gras wouldn't be complete without some beignets. Look at this. Pictures of this. Uh, and we food. also went ahead and got the guava and cheese cookies. Yeah, they're called the Romeo and Juliet and chicken. Yes, they call it the Romeo and Juliet. And of course, we got these last year, the chicken kahuna. Okay. Dig in. What do we start? Sausage. I'm gonna try sausage first. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just got attacked. Got a I one. got attacked by a tree, y'all. Delicious. Is that a noise? They're frying. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was it's raining. Torn. The boil's a little spicy to me. Not spicy to me. We have very different spice thresholds. Mine <laughs> is zero. Mine is, I like spicy food, but not too spicy. So, take with that what you will. Scramp. I got some corn. Okay, you told the corn. <laughs> The corn is sweet, like in a good way. Could use some butter, but it's still good. Shrimp's good. I was kind of afraid it would be that like gross mushy shrimp. So it's cooked well? Yes. So the boils, go for it. Use your entitlements for the boils. Yes, if you have a laner from last year, you use your entitlement for the boil because it's like 12 bucks. All right, we got the chicken cooking Cheers. All that chicken and cheese. It's like a cheesy, chickeny hush puppy. Yeah. It's very good. Very, very good. Where are we now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what dimension have we gone into? We are... I was like, Florida? I don't... For the boil, it's located <laughs> across from Transformers. The exit of Transformers. The old smoking section. Yes. And these are located at Cafe La Bamba. Across from the crepes. Where are we? <laughs> I don't know. Now, for the biggest surprise for us of Mardi Gras food tasting, these. The guava and cheese Papina, which they call the Romeo and Juliet. We don't know how to say that word. Yeah, I think it's Papina, I don't know. But, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> nuts. You would assume when you hear like guava and cheese that it would be like cream cheese, but this is like mozzarella. I don't know how, I don't know when, but <laughs> this just works. I don't, it's amazing. This is one of our favorite things that we tried here. We love it. Yeah. And then. I have to try the beignets. What? We have to try the beignets. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, been I a was, long week. <laughs> I was a real into this Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Nothing else existed but me and that Camina. That might be my favorite thing. Okay. I thought this was going to be about three times the size it was. Not pulled that out at all. So we got the beignets. Yum. Are they beignets or beignets? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh, they're actually really good. Good. Yes. They're no Cafe Du Monde, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I would hope not. I'm fine. <laughs> I need but, about uh, I need about three times more powdered sugar on it, but other than that, just bring your own powdered sugar. <laughs> that's our just, hack. <laughs> that's our hack for Mardi That's Ball. all you need. Bring your own powdered sugar. <laughs> bring a bag of confectioner sugar. <laughs> you are sad. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras! salsa and garlic aioli Salsa, pumpkin seeds. It's nice and crispy. That is so good. I love it. Uh,